Hello there all humans, welcome back to the Minecraft Guide. My name is Waddles, I hope you're doing well today. Um, and now, warning here, I need you to stay calm. Grab a seat, sit down, just whatever you do, stay calm. You, do, you don't have to worry, I'm still the same exact person. Uh, but this time, I have unlocked a secret. Um, the secret is the power of levitation. Aha. So... Um, you don't need to worry, I'm a good person, I won't abuse the powers, but, uh-huh, I know how to levitate now. So, uh, I'm not saying I'm the boss, but, um, can you levitate? Um, <laughs> just saying, uh, just saying, uh, but welcome back today, uh, in the guide world, we have, uh, maybe our first big giant farm project, like, I don't know what you would call it, maybe, maybe a super farm, I, it, it just depends, but I think we need to begin with some enchanting i've been taking a beating from you guys in the comments about my tools uh i know they're not the best or at least this axe isn't the best and oh boy today we're changing it what do we have oh that's a really good axe that is a nice axe wow wow <laughs> um so no more making fun of me no 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 i have good tools now you see these these pickaxes they're pretty good i need to put mending on it i do need to afk fish a little bit more um but now we have a pretty built up tool set i would say uh, good picks uh, decent shovel uh okay sword and an amazing amazing axe i i couldn't have asked for anything better than that now, last episode, we did the Grand Library, but it's uh, about time to talk about one more cool thing. Uh, the cool thing is an Ender Chest. Ender Chests are cool and really, really useful. An Ender Chest is basically like a, a limited portable backpack. Um, we need to find a good spot for it, though, so... Hmm, <laughs> where could an Ender Chest fit? I, I guess I could put it, like, here. Uh, let's do that for now. Um, so like I said, under chests are like portable storage in a way. I, I can throw things in it, and then I could pick it up with a silk touch pickaxe, always silk touch. Um, then I can move it and say, put it here, open it, and my things are still inside of it. Eight obsidian, one eye of ender to craft this thing, and you won't regret it. You can craft more than one, place them wherever you want in your world, and then access your items inside of them. So I could build one of these in the end, open it up, and have my pickaxe whenever I need it, which is really, really cool. You should keep good stuff inside of those things. So, um, today we begin our first mega farm, or what I'm calling a mega farm. We need slime. I'd like to do some piston doors and, and other farm things, and for the things that I'd like to do, I need sticky pistons, which means slime balls. This project will be a multi-episode project. I'll probably do the project like back to back to back and then mix some other things in between in the episodes. Today, we need to talk about finding a slime chunk. Now, there are really two main methods um, that you can use to find a slime chunk. One of them is kind of cheaty. One of them is not cheaty at all, but, but very time consuming. We'll be doing the time consuming one, uh, but we will explain the cheaty one first. Um, so, if you have access to your world seed, which I will be revealing this one seed very, very soon, you can take that seed and input it into a site like Chunk Base and look up in your world where a slime chunk is. Now, a slime chunk, what is that? Well, it is a chunk of your world, so a 16 by 16 block area where slime can spawn. Slime cannot spawn everywhere in your world. Slime will only spawn in swamps at nighttime in between Y50 and Y70, or in a slime chunk below Y40, no matter what. No matter the light level, no matter the time of day, as long as there's room for the slimes to spawn, they'll spawn there. So yeah, method one, take the seed, put it into chunk base, look at your world, and find the slime chunk. Method two, the manual finding of a slime chunk. Now, to do this, we need to go very, very low, uh, like way, way down into our world, below Y40. This is Y21, definitely below Y40. Uh, I'm looking for a slime chunk in an open area. So, if we were back on the surface, you know, we have all of the buildings over back that way. This way, however, no buildings whatsoever, and that is good. Um, now, before the episode, I prepared this so we can go back up and we can fall down. Now, I'll be hunting for a slime chunk at Y12. Why? Because Y12 is where you find diamonds. What I'm about to explain to you can be done at Y38 if you wanted, or Y... 
five if you wanted. I'd like a two-in-one deal. I love diamonds and I need more diamonds, so we might as well kill two birds with one stone. Now, um, if you press F3 and Q, you get this whole little menu showing up right there. The one we are looking for is F3 and G. F3 and G will show chunk borders. With the chunk border shown, we can see clearly where these chunks are. Uh, so here's one chunk, here's another chunk. Some of these chunks can spawn slimes, but the slime chunks will look no different. We need to clear out an area for slime to spawn so we can find out if they'll spawn there. Um, now to do this, I, I think we're going to need to dig some, some pretty big hallways. Um, now we definitely want these hallways inside of the chunks. Um, so like a hallway here probably going down, um, like far down this way and across many, many chunks. These halls will, will need to cross borders, cross boundaries and go to places we've never been before. Like, <laughs> like down here. I've never seen any of this before. Obviously it's all new caves. Now slime will spawn at any light level. So that means we can light these things up and not have to worry about a thing, which is definitely good. Not all slime are the same size. Some slime are tiny and some slime are pretty large. Small slimes require a 1x2x1 space area, medium slimes a 3x2x3 area, and then the large slimes a 3x2.5x3 space area. Uh, so right now I'm digging a 2x2 two two area and that's unfortunately not really going to cut it. Our hallways will need to be three wide and two high. This will allow for the medium slime and the small slime to spawn, but not the large ones. That's fine uh, if the large ones aren't spawning. We can, we can deal with it. It will hurt the rates a little bit, but I am just not really into digging um, this all three high right now. I'd like to find a chunk first uh, before I do too much digging. So basically, step one, make hallways going out across chunks, but make sure those hallways aren't on um, chunk borders. So like not right uh, in here, you definitely want your hallway cutting through a chunk and not along the edge of two chunks. After digging your hallways, you'll need to stop things from moving from one chunk to the other. How do we do that? Well, something like this, fence gates. If we place fence gates along the edges of chunks and then keep them closed, anything that spawns inside of a chunk will spawn there and stay there. That's definitely what we want. The goal is to clear out enough area for slime to spawn inside of chunks, and then once they spawn, keep them inside of whatever chunk they spawned in so we know where they spawned and which chunk is the slime chunk. So step two, after digging long, long hallways, uh, place fence gates in between your chunks. Uh, oh no. <laughs> I heard a creeper. Um, uh, where would the creeper be? Hmm. Now ideally, while you're doing all of this, uh, you'll want to be lighting everything up. We don't need skeletons, it's creepers, and zombies spawning in the mix here, because those mobs will take up some of the mob cap. Only so many hostile mobs can spawn uh, in your world at a time, and uh, if we have a bunch of creepers and zombies and skeletons idling, um, well, that's less room for slimes. And again, uh, slime is the goal. Skeletons, not very desirable right now. If you happen to come across any cave systems while, while doing this hallway process, go into the caves and light them up. Lighting up your caves, like lighting up your hallways, will eliminate any other mobs from spawning. Again, slime can spawn at any light level. If you are in these caves, don't forget to separate the chunks in some way as well. Uh, so something like that, that should do. The small slime will still get through, but uh, the medium ones, uh, that'll be fine. Please, 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 um, <laughs> keep in mind that this is a very time-consuming process. You'll probably need to dig out quite a bit of space, so if you're going into a project like this, um, just just be ready for a lot of work, um, like, like a lot. Um, yeah, so I, I think I pretty much explained the two main steps, dig hallways, block off chunks, um, and that means it's time for me to get to work and start digging like crazy. So I think what I'll do is uh, I'll extend this hallway going down that way and then continuously branch off of it into new chunks going all the way down. And I will remember to light everything up and um, block everything off. Obviously, you don't need to use fence gates to separate your chunks. You could use I don't know, glass or slabs even, but uh, gates are the way I'd like to do it, so that's, that's how I'll be doing it.
Oh, oh, oh. You know, one thing I should mention. Don't forget to bring a bed down with you into your mines. You should definitely be sleeping at nighttime. Mobs will spawn on the surface at nighttime, and those mobs will count towards your hostile mob cap as well. Uh, that is not something that we want to happen, so I need to move a bed down there. Okay, I'm, I'm out of wood, and I, I need more gates, so let's try this out. What do? How fast is this axe going to be? Oh, that's nice. Uh-huh. That's really nice. I love that. Now, after digging for a while, one of two things will happen. Uh, either A, you find a slime that spawned in one of your hallways, or B, uh, you don't find a slime. And I, I think we're B. Um, yeah. <laughs> so I have uh, quite a bit of hallways dug, but yeah, still no slimes. So um, what do you do then? Well, um, you should probably go ahead and work on lighting up caves around where you are excavating because other mobs could be the problem. Um, there might be an abundance of other mobs somewhere in a cave system like I have that are clogging up things and maybe preventing slime from spawning. So um, now uh, this ravine, this whole thing, um, the terrifying thing that mobs keep falling out of, um, <laughs> it all needs to be lit up, but I think it's nighttime, so I should probably sleep, and, um, I, please help, I don't know how I'm going to tackle this thing, um, oh, it's not night, okay, yeah, I, I just don't have any good ideas, I, I should probably just, I guess, go to one end of it, so I should go, uh, back here, and work my way towards the other end, and kill the mobs, and <laughs> uh, get a lot, oh, get a lot of light, um, <laughs> uh, ravines are so dangerous, and I don't belong in them at all, uh, especially ravines this big, um, this is one of the largest ravines I think I've ever seen, like, that's pretty crazy, lots of ledges too, which, uh, only allows more mobs to spawn. Oh boy. <laughs> um, but I'm gonna go ahead and light this thing up now and run into the caves a little bit too and get these nice and bright uh, because this this stuff, yeah, that's this is a problem. This is what's um, stopping my slime from spawning. You know what? You gotta go, man. You gotta go. I didn't think that fight would be that easy. Um, hmm. Hmm. Maybe I've, um, become too strong for the world. Just way too strong for this world. I think that's what it is. And if you're doing this whole cave lighting up thing, definitely make it a, a point to come back down here every once in a while and uh, double check. Uh, all of your hallways because you never know maybe a slime spawned and then you don't have to really worry about the caves um, but I'm not getting lucky <laughs> oh uh, nice <laughs> um, there's another ravine over here oh cool uh-huh so, the caving adventure, it's going well, but uh, there's still a lot more to do, and if you take a look at this pickaxe here, um, the durability is getting low, so I think it's time, it's probably definitely time for our very first mending tool of the world, of the series, um, because I just don't want to worry about healing up my pickaxe, especially when I have found... A grand total of zero diamonds. I, I know. <laughs> so um, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna we're gonna take the levels away from me and make a really really good fortune pickaxe. So now this pickaxe has mending on it. What does mending do? Well, it takes any experience that you would be getting and it puts it towards healing up your tool as long as the tool is in your hand. Why a fortune pickaxe? Well, I mine coal and redstone and lapis with this pickaxe and you get experience from doing that um, so this pickaxe is now basically uh, indestructible um, I'm always going to get experience when using this thing and 
and I'll always be healing it up, which is really, really good, and it has efficiency 5 too, and that is the best level of efficiency, so um, we now have a really, really good fortune pickaxe, and I, I think it's time for me to finish mining up this redstone and then get back to lighting up the caves. Oh, aha, uh -huh. I don't mind if I do. Ah, uh, well, maybe I found something. This is a lot of zombies. I mean, there was, there was a fourth one. Uh, do we have anything? Uh, nope. <laughs> <laughs> uh, maybe not. Uh, the caving's going well, though. Uh, lots and lots of dark caves around here. I'm trying to go, like, just crazy and get them all nice and bright um, because uh, if we can do that, then the rates of the slime farm should be even better. So uh, it's basically a win-win. I come out of it with ores, too, which is cool. I have been really needing the cave for, like, a long time now. All right, here's the moment of truth. Can we do it or can we not do it? Uh, I hope we can. I really, really hope we can. Oh, we can, and nothing bad happens. Okay, so let's go ahead and I guess, do we go all the way? Let's, let's just go all the way. There we go, brand new diamond uh, armor. Looking good, looking good. Okay, well, I have two things to show you. Well, one is a show, one is a tell. Uh, let's do the show first, because the show is good. Take a look at this. Um, I am just now returning from my final venture out into branch mines that lead to caves, um, and this is what I have. So, yeah, lots and lots of stuff. I think we probably need a um, an auto smelter soon. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is all like uh, cave and mob loot and then just random blocks, uh, but we are now entering into phase three of the project, which is a phase that I didn't want to hit. So uh, I'm on day two of working on this video. It spanned over two in real life days and uh, still no slimes. I'm, I'm having a big issue with that. And I'm certain that I have a slime chunk somewhere in here. There has to be um it, I've just dug out so many chunks, there's no way that not a single one of these would be a slime chunk, or at least that's what I'm pretty sure about. So, um, phase uh, three is this. Um, we open up a gate, um, probably turn this back on, and start digging out the chunks. Now, if you're lucky, you won't have to do this step. Um, this is not a necessary step. Let me make that clear. The step three of the whole slime finding project, you don't have to do this. If you get lucky and you find a slime in one of your hallways, you're good to go. Stop with the project there. Don't do what I am about to do. Uh, but if you're like me and you haven't found any slime and, and you've dug a lot of hallways, it's time to start digging out chunks and marking out where chunk borders are, uh, kind of like I'm doing here. So we need to just start hollowing this whole area out pretty much. This whole area should still only be two blocks high. If you're digging spaces three blocks high, you're, you're kind of wasting a lot of time. So just two blocks high, but just flatten everything, clear it all out, make sure it's all nice and bright and place walls or, or blocks or something on the edges of your chunk so you know where one chunk is and where the next chunk oh oh <laughs> i didn't realize that would do that that's really interesting uh-huh maybe we can use that for something but anyways anyways place walls along the edges of your chunks so things still don't move across your chunks and, and just dig clear the whole area out flatten so you can see right across this whole thing hopefully what, what we're really hoping for this time is uh, a mob to spawn while i am in here working and digging if a slime spawns then i'll be able to see it because everything is being flattened out and opened up which will take a whole lot more time but will also give slime a whole lot more room to spawn if you use the hallway method like i was hoping to uh, you save a lot of time, but there is a lot less room for slime to actually spawn. You're working with a three-block wide strip through a chunk, which can work, but 
uh, it did not work for me. So step three summary, uh, dig chunks out, put walls along the chunks, and don't forget to light things up. <laughs> We're basically creating a, a giant, giant open space in this area. Um, aha. <laughs> I really hope this works. Um, <laughs> my blue mushroom is, uh, a little fast, um, um <laughs> I don't know what this is, I need, uh, I just wanted to, uh, okay. <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, listen closely. Uh, maybe you could hear it. Aha. Uh -huh. A slime. Uh, would you take a look at that? Well, it looks like... Ow. Uh, ow. Uh, we finished our job for today, which is really, really good. I'm glad this this worked out. Um, this was a lot, a lot, a lot of digging. In fact, uh, let me show you what we have over here. So, um, cobblestone cobblestone uh, there's more cobblestone up top over here is random blocks and then the loot that I found from digging this stuff out I did actually manage to get a creeper to kill a skeleton too so we have another disc that's kind of kind of cool um, but yeah lots of digging lots and lots of work so uh, yeah um, <laughs> it is safe to say that I am absolutely um, not bummed about being done <laughs> Now, I did do some digging um, while working on the project, and it seems that there actually is a, a bug with slime spawning in 1.14, so if the method doesn't work, keep that in mind. Um, uh, it's it's 1.14, right? Uh, right? Uh, how fun. I know, I know. Maybe that'll change our project plans, because I'd love to, to do the slime farm when you guys can do it too, and if there's a bug... I, I just don't know. But anyways, time for comment of the day. I moved the book in here. Episode 37 is what we're looking for. Lighthouse idea. Since you're in the end now and you can get elytras, maybe make the lighthouse a creeper farm so you can get gunpowder for rockets from Green Kipper. Um, you know, that's a really cool idea. And that, that brings up the whole creeper farm point. Um... If we decide to switch gears and and take a break from the slime project because again um, bugs and stuff not really working right, um, then maybe we'll do a creeper farm instead. And we could either a do do the lighthouse as a creeper farm or do one out in the ocean, which might be a good idea to do as well, um, because then we can just put it way high up in the sky and have things fall out, and uh, that might be cool. Less surface to light up, you know. So. Hmm. <laughs> Just have to kind of think about that and think about the project and if I should continue on with it right now. If there's a, such a big bug, I, I really didn't realize before starting um, this episode. And by the way, Cyan Wool, share your thoughts on the big question. Uh, continue the project or take a break since there is uh, a notable bug, it seems. My name is Waddles. This has been episode 37. I will see you next time. Goodbye, everyone.